Hi guys and girls, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be your mid-month October 2023 tarot forecast. As always, it's a general reading, so trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Now, uh, we've got a few eclipse energies happening. So, uh, you know, eclipse always brings major transformation um, and can sometimes eclipse things out of our life. Uh, the focus of the eclipses that are happening in October is on the 14th of October, uh, there is a new moon and solar eclipse. So it'll actually look a bit like a ring of fire. Yeah, It's going to be in Libra. So it's going to affect the star signs mostly of Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. There's a big focus on relationships. Uh, for some, it's about letting go of things that didn't work out. It can be restoring, salvaging relationships, looking at your own relationship patterns and letting go of control about how you think situations should be, relationships should be, people should be. Yeah, so big focus on relationship. Uh, it's also about justice, balance, new beginnings. So we often clear out to allow in for the new. So it's almost like in some instances it's going to kind of be a writing of either karma or energy in your life, yeah, to bring more balance in. The other eclipse is on the 28th of October. Uh, it's going to be in the sign of Taurus and uh, it's the last eclipse of the year for 2023. Again, it's all about endings. Uh, and major releases and there's a big focus on creating financial stability in your life and long-term success so that's what's happening energetically all right my loves let's dive in oh one more note and one more couple of more notifications and I know we've got a little bit of a long intro but I think it's really worth doing so there is the competition running again this month so if you want to go into the draw to win the angel reading cards this month you just have to subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments down below you want to win. There's also a personal reading up for grabs with me. So I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Just let me know in the comments down below you want to win that personal reading. Um, the prizes have been claimed for last month. I just need Eileen Brown, if you're listening, to get in touch to claim the personal reading because you won the personal reading with me. You just have to email me. Details are down below. We're also having a live on Friday on emotional triggers. So if you want to join in on that, go to the community tab and check out all the info. I'll probably link it in here as well. Let's dive in, my loves. All right, Leo, let's pull you an opening energy from the uh, beautiful Precious Gems Oracle. Oh, wow. All You pulled red coral. Have a look at that. So it's all about fruitfulness, which means it's actually about taking action and putting the effort in towards your goals and dreams. And whatever effort you do put in, it's going to come back to you in kind. Uh, it's also about not letting obstacles sway you from your path, staying really focused. Uh, and I mean, red coral can also represent the physical body. So if there's anything that needs um, healing around it's very protective around anything to do with blood um, and so if you have been going through poor health it can be an indication that you're coming back into good health I mean we always co-create that mostly this oracle is about you taking action following up on the things that you want to do create in your life um, a lot of fire you know very fiery energy but it's it's very determined energy, but not in a forceful way. It's kind of that quiet confidence in yourself, yeah. All right, All right let's have a look at some predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Firstly, let's have a look at the situation. Mm. You pulled the four of earth, which is a need to be really practical around your finances. So it's around your financial stability, putting money aside for savings. So some of you are actively putting aside money in for something that you're trying to either buy or do. Um, it's very much about watching any kind of frivolous activity around your money, overspending, being very wise at this time. So you've got the um, one of fire or the ace of fire. There's an amazing opportunity about to come your way. Mm -hmm. Not much of a challenge. 
I mean, the challenge really here is how wisely you're spending your money at this time. So for some of you, don't get overexcited that you've got this amazing opportunity coming in and spend all the money in your savings account right before the opportunity comes in because you're going to have some, you're going to be bidding a state of lack for, um, in terms of when you get paid for that opportunity. So, uh, but yeah, there's an amazing opportunity coming your way. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. You got that eight of water, the ace of cups. So he's leaving all the empty cups behind, brand new, fresh start in your life, new beginnings, change in direction, making major life changes for some of you, moving home, moving jobs. All right, let's have a look at the recent past. You got that eight of fire. So you've been, sorry, you got that eight of earth. So you've been working really hard on your coin. Uh, it's starting to pay off for sure. Some of you possibly doing some things around study. All right, let's have a look at the present. Mm, you got the Queen of Earth. So much Earth energy coming out with your coin. Love of family, home, beautifying your home. Again, being just a very practical approach to your financial security and stability at this time. Let's have a look at the near future. You got two here. Oh, you got the star card. So having faith in the future, in your dreams, your plans turning out how you wanted them to, the end of challenging times. For some of you, stepping more into a role where you're going to be seen more, trusting in yourself a bit more, because it's also come out with the magician. So whatever you're creating in your life, you're doing based on your own efforts. All right, let's have a look at your energy. So wants to come out. Okay, you got the six of water. Just watch. You may have people coming back from you to from the past, old friends, particularly all the way back to childhood. Just watch on reminiscing on the past, um, kind of seeing things in an illusionary state. Any other guidance there? Eh? Wow, you got a king and a queen. Both of them super focused on their coins. So if you're partnered up, you're, you're doing this together. Uh, a time of great success, having the Midas touch. Um, so much coin coming in for you, Leo. All right, let's have a look at the people around you. Mm, you got the high priestess. So doing your spiritual practices, staying in a very high vibration. You may be connecting with groups and things around your spiritual practices. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Okay, you've got the page of air. So you may have some information come in that may be a bit challenging. It could be around whatever this opportunity is. It could be some timing delays going on. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance? Oh. You got the nine of earth, so much earth energy. Those of you that are self-employed, there's a lot of coin coming your way. Self-made success, the ability to um, spend a bit of money on yourself, a bit of a luxury item. For others, this new opportunity is going to bring a lot more coin into your life. All right, let's have a look at the outcome. There's two here. Oh, beautiful. You got the ten of cups. Yeah, beautiful, happy family, contented home life. Some of you may be buying your dream home. You've been waiting for it for a long time. You've also got the six of fire, which is victory. Absolute victory over the past. Mm -hmm. Being recognised for your highly skilled work, the efforts you've been making, the hard work you've been putting in. Number six represents love and abundance. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Firstly, let's have a look in the centre here, which is all about your financial stability and this new opportunity. You have the ace of emotion. So aces are always new beginnings. So new ways of looking at things. So some of you have done an internal shift on how you look at new opportunities where before you might have held yourself back, now you're going to go for it. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at you making these big life changes. Mm, Spirit saying you're the magician. You can do anything you want, Leo. There's nothing holding you back. You pulled the magician twice. Uh huh. 
Yeah. You've also pulled the star twice. It's just come out again. It's directly related to your financial security, stability, your coin. Stepping into the spotlight, um, being seen, another six. Again, love and abundance. And you've got the night of inspiration. So rising above any challenges, trusting in your inspired ideas. Your whole reading is covered in gold, mostly gold coin. Let's just have a look at this energy where someone may be coming back to you from the past. In fact, you've got three sixes here. I've just seen another one. Amazing. You've also got lots of eights here, so there's a lot of the infinity symbols here. Any guidance here? Mm, another ace, ace of inspiration. Trusting in your inspired ideas, spirit saying it's directly related to your coin. And you've got the chariot, so just keep moving forward. Uh, being unstoppable, you are unstoppable at this time, Leo. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Wisdom Oracle. You got your inner truth. So I have to be honest with you, I think you're listening to yourself. You're listening to your intuition. You're making choices that are really aligned with where you're heading and where you want to be. flying out yeah absolutely you're opening up to new experiences and possibilities which is really gorgeous being more open yeah your clear endeavor there's absolutely going to be a clear path forward lots of clarity about your path forward whereas you might have been confused before leo you're no longer confused all right let's pull your message from your angels Oh, you've pulled Archangel Metatron. I'm your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and divinity. I'm here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Fill me in your heart and thoughts. Through oneness there is love. I'm going to say there's going to be minimal in a conflict because you're going to come to this place of absolute clarity about what's right for you. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the Pegasus article. And I will just mention I've added a few more designs to the gorgeous uh, star sign journals, task planners, and coffee mugs for your star signs. So if you want to check them out, you can find them all on my uh, Elysium Gallery website. You can also get some of them on my YouTube channel attached to this video or below this video. All designed by me, my loves. Mm -hmm. oh. You pulled the Pegasus of Speaker. He's looking off to the future and he's looking at the stars, pondering on the stars. Let's pull you on the guidance. It says, Leo, through the powerful and gentle blessings of the twin star system Speaker, beloved soul guardian Pegasus facilitates the integration of your higher self. So you identify less with the ego and feel more connected to your essence. The stars of speaker are so close they can appear as one. It confirms that your spirit will never leave you, always loves you, and is grateful for all of you, even if sometimes you feel spiritually disconnected or worry that you're not growing fast enough or are making mistakes. You are always seen, held and loved by the spiritual worlds. Issues around separation, abandonment, neglect, to healing. You recognize that those experiences were the result of another's wounding rather than an indication of your value. You're releasing attachment to the wounds of others and anchoring to the light of your true self. This allows you to break ancestral lineages of unresolved trauma that manifest as dysfunctional family and social cultures and lead to a new healed culture and higher functioning relationship. You've been caught up in power struggles, you will reorientate your focus on the light of your higher self, releasing toxic engagement. And as you no longer devote your energy to another's agenda, your well-being increases and your purpose becomes clearer. Your light is growing stronger and it benefits all. Trust in the promise of what is to be 
in your capacity to heal and in the spiritual grace that is always with you as your guiding light. So releasing a lot of karmic things that may have held you back in life. Mm -hmm. Really trust in yourself. All right, Leo, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated with you. Take it easy and for now, much love, much light. Namaste.